Sometimes I will actually, yeah. Oh, you can ride the firework up into the sky. It's amazing. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another video. And today we're going to take a look at my testing chamber, which I have over here. And there appears to be a giant creeper inside of it. But, wow, um, that's kind of interesting. I'm going to have to find a way to get in here. I wonder how I get in. Oh, looks like this piece of grass looks different. Let's step on this piece of grass. Oh, I totally didn't know that was there. All right, are these creepers gonna bother me? Creepers? You, you guys are uh, okay. I think I think they're cool. I think they're cool. All right, um, especially this big one. What's up with him? Oh uh, yeah. So this is the Elemental Creepers mod, and it adds around 30 new creepers into the game, including fire creepers, uh, water creepers, earth creepers, reverse creepers, all sorts of stuff. And I'm gonna go and show you how they are used not here though this would might be a little bit dangerous so I'm gonna come over here to where I'll be testing this and as you can see oh hey there's an ender chest here what let's look in here oh we've got some flint and steel and we've got all the creepers in the game so uh, not quite 30 I'd say there's 25 yeah looks like there's 24 or 25 but anyway so let's start out with some of these creepers and let's just grab all all of these and keep the hydrogen one in there okay cool but first we're gonna demonstrate how all these creepers work and that's basically gonna be the showcase we're showcasing all of these creepers for you in this video this will give you a good idea of whether you want to install this on your minecraft or not or put it in a mod pack or whatever but I would recommend doing so this is a really cool mod add some excellent creepers which not always are the nicest things but they only seem to spawn as much as regular creepers so in case of a regular creeper there seems to be a random elemental creeper instead it's not like there's a million creepers everywhere but anyway let's get to lighting these guys off here we go okay so we got this one the wind creeper and as you can see this guy will explode and I will get launched away pretty pretty ravenously now we, next we have the solar creeper and as you can see the sun's high in the sky but to demonstrate this first I'm going to make it so that it is actually night and boom okay now it's you know just after there's a little bit of sunset left but anyway let's try this alright solar creeper show me what you got you are a pathetic little creeper alright so let's uh let's uh, make it um, midday let's see what happens then so time says 6,000 alright so solar creeper now show me what you got here we go Oh, it's got it's got something. Oh man. Oh, so yeah. As you can see, the solar creepers are extremely powerful during the day, and uh, not so powerful during the nighttime. Now we have the spring creeper, which we'll do over here. And as you can see, when you let it off, it flies up in the air, and when it comes down, it explodes with a vengeance. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Not too much to do with that. Uh, next we have the spider creeper which I think is really really cool so what happens when this guy explodes um, he'll uh, put cobwebs absolutely everywhere and give everything with around the area uh, poison regular poison for about 18 seconds now we have the electric creeper well I'm still poisoned but that's okay and yeah basically he will strike you with lightning which is pretty crazy so you can actually use this to supercharge creepers if you want to and yes all of the creepers except for one in this mod are superchargeable it gets crazy so basically what supercharging any of these creepers does merely increases the blast radius so instead of having a cube this big of cobwebs it would be like twice the size or even three times so it would stretch from all the way from that into that and you're really high up in the air I will show you a bit of that soon but this is the one that you cannot supercharge this one is completely different from all the other others it is one big bad creep now it is um oh it kills you um yeah uh let me get back what the big bad creep does is it explodes and uh when it explodes don't explode my spawn eggs please um it uh yeah when the big bad creep explodes it summons a bunch of the other creepers from the mod as long with do a ton of damage to you alright so I've got some of the creepers we have not done yet which one of which is the ice creeper now when this guy explodes he basically just puts snow absolutely everywhere now this would be quite useful if you wanted to have natural looking snow everywhere even if you wanted to you know just create maps or something you wanted to have a nice looking snowy area it makes it so easy to just, you know, generate some land with some snow on it. And instantly, we have a scene out of Frozen. Just like that. This mod is pretty cool. 
And, but not only do they have snow, they also have some fire, so we're going to do some, but fire won't really work, because in Minecraft, fire can't exactly go on snow, so we're going to have to head down into the valley here and light off the fire creeper. Now, this guy doesn't really explode at all. He just kind of lights everything on fire, which is all right. He can do that if he wants. Now, oh no, we have all this fire. Oh, I've got an idea. Let's explode the water creeper, and boom, water source blocks go everywhere to help put out the fire, except it doesn't really, uh, oh, there it goes, okay, yeah, and so, yeah, that's fire and water creeper, and now we have the ender creeper, which is kind of like an enderman, and he will teleport away occasionally when you look at him, yeah, um, I wonder if he can ever get close enough to explode you, doesn't really look like it, I think he'll teleport behind you, so it looks like with the ender creeper, he will teleport you if you're not moving and sneak up behind you like this guy wants to do, get out of here, so yeah, that's the ender creeper, now we have the earth creeper, and this guy looks kind of funny, but he just puts a bunch of dirt everywhere. Kind of a troll, but that's basically all that creeper is. Now we have the friendly creeper. And as you can see, I'm in survival mode. And this guy is like, he's just chill. He's like, hey, what's up, man? Yeah, you exploded any cool th cool mobs recently? Oh, wait, you can't because you'll die, right? Yeah, a tough life being a creeper, huh? Yeah, I know the feeling. Actually, I don't. Ha! And then if you punch him, he will now become aggroed and will explode pretty much like a normal creeper, except not quite as powerful. And now we have the cookie creeper, and it's getting kind of dark out. And when he explodes, he will do absolutely no damage and just give you about five cookies. I think it will give you more sometimes. Nope, just five. Okay, <laughs> kind of a random creeper. But uh, yeah, let's go put the ones I've already done back into the ender chest just so I can... Uh, I have these organized a little bit more, and I'll show you some of the supercharged ones in a little bit. But first, we got to go through all of these normally, showcase them the way they were supposed to. I think I've already done the ice creeper. Um, so, yeah, now let's go with the firework creeper. So, yeah, he will basically spawn a firework. Sometimes I will actually, yeah, oh, you can ride the firework up into the sky. It's amazing. It's So, yeah, these guys will come at you, and they will summon fireworks underneath you. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Ah! Oh, man. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, two hearts. So, yeah, the fire creepers will summon fireworks underneath you normally. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they miss or something like that. But, yeah, they'll summon fireworks on, uh, underneath you, so you'll be riding them, basically. So, watch. If I go like this, I'm riding the firework, and you can actually just crouch off of that, which is pretty cool. Now, this one. This one is really, really cool. I'm going to show you how it works, the reverse creeper, and then I'm going to uh, explain it. Let's just show you this. All right, reverse creeper. Boom. And how did I get underground here? Well, check this out. It elevates all the ground up in the air a little bit and basically flips it upside down. It basically, it takes a ball of where it is and rotates it 180 degrees. So this was the surface right here. Now it's underground. And this was the underground right here. Now it's on the surface, and it does it like a massive ball of earth. It's pretty sweet, and you can make some cool-looking stuff. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> I really like it. It's a really cool addition. Okay, now we have the magma creeper. And these guys will actually uh, take damage in, in uh, rain, and they will also leave a fire path wherever they go, which is pretty cool. So follow me. Follow me. Follow me. What are you doing? Apparently, they don't like to follow me or something. Yeah, but see, he's leaving his fire path, and when he explodes, he'll put lava absolutely everywhere. Now we have the furnace creeper, which is probably one of the trolliest creepers you'll ever find. Is that honest? Is that a normal creeper? No, that's... Is that a normal creeper? That's honestly, it looks like an... Wow, I found a normal creeper while playing this mod. That's so rare. But anyway, we have the furnace creeper now, which basically does this. If you're in range, and it explodes... It will put you in what looks like a furnace. So let me get myself out of here. Um, it kind of looks like a furnace, but I don't know. But the thing is, uh, if you uh, light it and then you get away fast enough, it will not be able to. Only within a certain range is it able to spawn that thing around you. So I guess it gives you free lava, but it's not very nice. So now we have the light creeper. I like this creeper. Now watch, when it explodes... Glowstone everywhere. Some of these creepers are quite helpful because now you didn't even ne need to go to the nether and now you have glowstone absolutely everywhere. So now get we're getting to the illusion creeper, which is what you saw over there. Now, if I spawn this guy in and go into game mode zero, you can see when you get near it, five of them come out, but only one of them is the real one. So if I get near him, he'll explode and he wasn't the real one. 
and he wasn't the real one. Um, what about you? You were the real one? And nope. Okay, so this guy's the one that will explode. Watch, he'll go boom. Yeah. So it's kind of like that Pokemon move, whatever it was, Double Team? Yeah, like I seen in the TV shows. Pokemon references, yeah, go Pokemon. No. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> time for the Stone Creeper. I like this one. This one's kind of useful for mining. If you had Creeper Exit Vanilla, though. But anyway, this is what it does. It will explode and basically mine out a bunch of stuff for you, and you get tons of stone, like, you get so much. So yeah, that creeper will mine out all of the blocks for you, and it seems like it mines out more than the number, but it probably just mines out the same number. Alright, now we have, I think we only have a couple more. Uh, we do have the creeper fish and the dark creeper, and also the psychic creeper. And that's the, we have, that's the final three until we get to the final big one. Alright, so now we have the Psychic Creeper, and he'll just stare at you and launch you into the air super, super far, and I died. Alright, so this guy will look at me, and if I back up to try and make it go, but yeah. The closer you are to him, the higher he'll launch you into the air, and it's pretty scary. Uh, and so yeah, now we have, lastly, the Dark Creeper, which kind of doesn't really do much of anything. Um, I don't know what happens with this Creeper. It doesn't seem to give me any effects or anything. Um, like, it doesn't even, it hardly even explodes on its own. But yeah. So if I, this guy explodes at night, he still won't do anything. This is a very strange creeper. I'm not entirely sure what it does. It doesn't seem to do anything at all. Alright guys, let me show you a couple of what, the, what these creepers look like when they're supercharged. And then we'll move on to the big final creeper. So, if I was to get the command ready for summon a lightning bolt where I am. So that works. Yep. Alright. Alright, let me go ahead and spawn a light creeper. Let me go ahead and supercharge this guy. Because 1.8, you can summon lightning on command. So, look at this guy. He's so pretty. He's got the uh, supercharged particles and everything. So here we go. Let's light him up. Whoop. Boom. Look at all that glowstone. That is so sweet. And the thing is, with the lightning creeper, you can actually set up maybe a sort of farm or, or something where you can trap a bunch of creepers and then get hit by the lightning creeper and make a bunch of creepers supercharged because there's a bunch of useful creepers. Like, uh, there's also, I think, um, there's one I didn't see, so... Let me go ahead and get that. It's a cake creeper. I don't think I showed you this one. Um, basically, all it does is... Uh, well, let me show you. Alright, so what the cake creeper does is if you light it up, it will explode, kinda, and uh, it'll drop cake. Yeah, it'll j just drop cake. Like that. Four, five cakes, and that's that's basically all it will do. Now when this now let me try and supercharge this guy to see if it makes a difference. I'm really curious now. Here we go. All right, so this guy's supercharged now. Let me go ahead and light him up, and we still got five cakes. Okay, but now it's time for what you've all been waiting for: the hydrogen creeper. I've been putting it off as the final finale. I think I'm gonna do it right in the middle of all this glowstone just so it can uh, do a bunch of stuff. But basically, this guy will obliterate you. He pretty much explodes instantly. When you when he uh, comes up to you in survival, he's even got like a nuclear symbol on his chest. When this guy explodes, it's not very pretty. Yeah, as you can see, I was getting some lag there, and he creates the massivest crater you've ever, ever seen. And now, do you want to see what this guy's like when he's supercharged? It creates fissures all the way over there. That's that, that's crazy. But anyway, now let's supercharge this guy. <laughs> Oh man, okay, now he's supercharged. Now this is gonna get laggy, I'm gonna warn you. It's gonna get quite laggy here, but here we go. Let's light it up, and before... And watch, things are gonna start. Oh, oh, there it goes. And so, yeah, um, not... Uh, it doesn't look like a whole big difference, but you, you can see it carves cracks that go deep, deep down into the ground. It sends these lines through the ground a lot farther than the other ones do, and it just... The explosion radius thing on this thing is 50, so uh, the maximum distance you can get hurt from the regular hydrogen creeper is 50 blocks away, and you'll still get hurt from it. So I could be standing way over here, and I'd still get hurt. But as you can see, this cow survived because he wasn't at the center of the blast, but this cow will probably die if I explode a normal hydrogen creeper from here. Yeah, as you can, yeah, he died, even from really far away. Um, I was in full protection 10 armor when I was testing this mod out earlier, and I still died instantly from this from the uh, hydrogen creeper he is OP 
P. And another cool supercharged creeper is the spider creeper, as you can see here. All right, so the spider creeper, as you can see, these are normal spider creeper web web amounts. Now, as you can see, when I do this, and then summon a lightning bolt, he will uh, do quite some things when he explodes. Now, as you can see, there's cobwebs absolutely everywhere. Look at this. This is um, this is huge. There are so many cobwebs. I could count all these using a command, but that would t that would take a while because I'd have to find the corners. But yeah, and he still affects you with the same amount of poison. But it's crazy. There's like a dropper map going through these things. Man, oh man, it's crazy. There's so many cobwebs. Supercharging turns that into that. It is just crazy. That is so many times bigger. Like I said. It's very, 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 very big. The big bad creep cannot be supercharged, like I said before. The cake creeper is in effect by supercharged. The reverse creeper doesn't seem to be affected by supercharged. Um, but most of them are. Like the regular creeper, most of these can be struck by lightning and become supercharged, which makes their blast radius so much bigger. So let me show you what the ice one looks like when it's supercharged. Just, you know, kind of like the uh, spider one. It just makes it massive ice everywhere. <laughs> I love this. This is such a cool mod. Uh, not so much destructive creepers, but there's a lot of cool creepers too. The most destructive being the hydrogen one. That's kind of OP, killing pretty much any player instantly, unless they have like resistance and a notch apple enabled or something crazy like that. Now, I'm not sure about where they spawn uh, on what certain terrain. Alright guys, I have a bunch of ice creepers here, and I've got a command that'll make them all go off at the same time. Here we go. Oh no. Oh! What happened? Oh man, what happened here? What happened? Oh, there's snow everywhere! It's like frozen. Oh man, I gotta see what happens when all these creepers go off at the same time. There is one more creeper that I forgot about, and that is the creeper fish. It is basically like a silver fish. It will crawl itself into things like stone brick if it wants to. Um, sometimes it doesn't, and it will explode like a regular creeper. And they've added a block that's called a stone brick creeper egg. Yeah, so they've, they have all these. If you break one of these... Um, it'll spawn a creeper fish. So if I was in, say, uh, game mode zero, and I was to go ahead and break this, it would spawn this guy, and then he would explode. Like, oh, like, yeah, like, pretty powerfully, too. But I think I'm gonna end off this video by having one final epic awesome, and I'm gonna set all of these creepers to go off at the same time. Are you ready for this? Here we go. To make all these go off at the same time. Here we go. All of the creepers! Boom! There they go. Oh man, what even just happened now? Okay, this guy's still here. <laughs> we have a mass of cobwebs, a fire. Oh, we got that command blocks. <gasps> oh, oh, I kind of broke my testing chamber, but that's okay. It's all in the name of testing mods. Oh man, we have we have a ball of stone. I'm poisoned. I had poisoned three somehow, some way. We have this gigantic thing here. Cobwebs everywhere. Things dug into the ground really deep. Oh man, <laughs> I think this has been a successful mod showcase. All these will spawn naturally in your world, except for the- I don't think the creeper fish will spawn naturally. I think it's just uh, generated underneath a certain biome in your world. But anyway, guys, this has been the Elemental Creepers mod. Add some really cool creepers that can be used for some really cool things. Definitely check out the link in the description below where you can find a link to download this mod along with the dependency mod for this because this mod doesn't work on its own. It needs another mod. The dependency mod for it is called Lomlib. That's also in the description. So both the mod and the dependency mod both in the description. And this is just Forge Minecraft 1.8. Yes, 1.8 mods. I love it. Love 1.8. Love mods perfect harmony together so anyway guys hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you all in the next one goodbye everybody Woo! oh yeah goodbye